Thank you, Madam Speaker. All state-owned entities are collapsed by the ANC's incompetence. It was the ANC deployees that looted SOE's resources, and this started long before the Guptas. But we are made to believe that they are angels and saints, they are good and bad, and the rotten part is being cleaned out. The reality is that we are witnessing a consolidation of a parallel state network that is being created by Minister Pravin Gordon. It started at SARS and was continued at National Treasury. Even when he was fired by the constitutional delinquent Jacob Zuma, he came here to Parliament as a backbencher to continue with that project. The removal of Siabonga Gama from Transnet, especially after Transnet posted positive results and showed stability without following due process or fair labor practices, is Minister Pravin Gordon's modus operandi. We knew about the corruption at Transnet, we exposed the rot of the locomotive procurement, and we even went to open a case at the Johannes Police Station. So people must not come here and say when we are exposing Minister Pravin's parallel state network that we are defending corruption, because when it was not popular to do so, we were exposing corruption. As a pure free market Order. fundamentalist, Honourable Minister Member, Pravin- Honourable Member, can you take a seat? Honourable yes, Minister. Uh, the Honourable Member has, in your hearing, I don't think you need to see Hansard, made very, very serious allegations against a member of this House without any submission of a substantive motion. And I think this needs to be part of a substantive motion and not abuse of the podium. Thank you. Thank you. Honourable Member, in terms of Rule 85, as you know, you can impugn on the character of the member and if there are issues that you have, you can bring them in the substantive motion. I would ask you to withdraw. I'm not saying withdraw order, your whole order, Honourable Member. Can I speak to the member? But All it's a generalization. Order, Honourable Member. It's a general statement. Honourable Member, can you take oh. your seat? The Honourable Member specifically mentioned in a particular way directed to Minister Praveen Gordon, and it is that that I'm saying she must withdraw. Not her statement, but that section of her presentation. Order, Speaker. Order, yes, what's your point of order? Speaker, is our EFF view that Mr. Gordon is protecting Honourable certain faction within the Honourable ANC Member. and is here to defend them. Honourable That's Member. a view we hold. It's a Can political you debate you are seat? making. I'm going to switch off your But we are making a debate. On uh, order, Honourable Member, I'm speaking to the member on the podium and asking her once again to withdraw that section that directly impugns on the character of the member. If she wants to bring a substantive motion, she can do so. Can Honourable you withdraw, Honourable Member, that section? Honourable Chairperson, I'm not going to withdraw. Can that you section. then take your seat and leave the podium and leave the house? IFP. Honourable Member, what is your point of order? Chair, Chairperson. Yes. You did not hear what the member was talking to. It's a general statement. Order. I would have preferred you to go and listen to the Hansard and made a ruling later because it's a general statement that was made there. Honourable and it's order. what has the Minister point of order. Uh, state owned enterprises have done. Can I respond to you, Honourable Member, with due respect? I listened to the member. And in her statement, she specifically inferred on Minister Godan on him running a parallel uh, state on the side. And also, yes, she did. She did. And I asked her, that's why I said specifically, I'm asking her to withdraw that part which impugned on the member, not her whole statement. And she refused. And in terms of Rule 85, as you know, you cannot infer on the, on the character of a member without bringing it on a substantive motion. And I asked the member several times, 
and she said she's not withdrawing, she can excuse us in the House for today. Thank you. Order, honourable members.